Hi, thanks for agreeing to talk and, and, and talk to me holding this in front mm -hmm. of you. Can you tell me, what, what are your dreams? Um, well, first of all, I, 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 think, I think it's a good question to ask. Um, I don't think it's a, a question that often people do get asked a lot. Um, for, for when you've asked me that question, it's really made me think. I don't really have a direct response personally that, that I have, but um, I feel it's something that we really need to be asking clients a lot. Um, and, and by clients, I mean um, I, I am a social worker for uh, mental health services, um, so therefore individuals with uh, mental, health, mental health problems. Um, I think it, it, it's a good question to ask, ask them. Um, I think when asking people what are their dreams, I think really what we are asking is <coughs> what do they want to achieve in life um, and what are their ultimate goals, I think, um, for individuals which are different on many levels. For, some pers for, for one person it could just be to, to simply get a holiday and for somebody else it could be to achieve employment. I find that quite a lot. Um, not that I've asked directly about what people's dreams are, but I find that their, that their ultimate goals are to either achieve employment or to get back on track, um, maybe to get their mental health well again so that they can lead a, an ordinary life as possible. Um, I find these are quite important to people. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. And it sounds as though you're thinking really th you know, why it's important to yeah. them. I mean, how do you think we're going to encourage and help people to dream? I think, um, I think in order to do that, it's about what questions we ask um, and I think for me as a social worker working with individuals with mental health problems it's important how I ask a question. Um, I have come across a lot of individuals and clients who have been known to services for many years so therefore they've been asked questions, quite repetitive questions, um, that they are kind of almost institutionalised into thinking in a certain way. So um, I feel that, and I've actually had clients say to me, oh, right, do I have to go through all this again? I find that quite a lot. Um, and I have actually asked, uh, I have asked clients questions like, what, are, what is important to you? And the response has been brilliant because I've managed to actually get to the core of what they want, what they want to change in their lives, which I think is really important, particularly with mental health. I, I work with quite severe mental health and enduring. So um, clients with personality disorders or schizophrenia um, who struggle, I think, to look at themselves and what their own dreams are because they've never really thought about that before or they've never really been asked that before. Um, but in order to encourage them, I think it's about the questions that we ask. Yeah, and that's what was coming through to me when you were talking yeah. there. Yeah. It's actually having to think about what questions yeah. to ask people, yeah. and not yeah. just and not just a, a, a case of you know what is important to you, but then you know, for example, if they do want to say employment, which I've had before, what's important to you? I want to get back into employment. How how do you feel? Uh, time limits, goals. Do you think within the next two or three years? Do you think within the next year? a longer term goal even, um, do you want to get to somewhere before you can get to that stage, um, for example do you want to build on your confidence and esteem before you can even look at voluntary options um, and about that process about how to get, have they, getting them to think about the process of how to get to that ultimate goal. Yeah. So there's a lot there isn't there. Yeah. How do we make people's dreams real? You started touching on that there. Yeah. Well, for social work, and for, and for, for me personally, um, I complete assessments for individuals. Um, and that assessment, I feel, again, in order to make people's dreams real, it's about how I do my assessment. Um, we are moving more to, we are moving, sorry, towards a more outcome-focused approach. I try and be holistic in my approach in the sense that every assessment is completely different. Um, but ultimately, again, asking that question, what's important to them? Um, and when I do my assessment, there, are, there is a specific kind of criteria that I have to complete. So if I'm doing a comprehensive assessment, it is, I do have to put my information into specific sections, which I feel you can get into the habit of asking 
finds questions that evolve around this structure. Um, I try and deviate away from that. And what I do <coughs> when I complete an assessment with somebody is, first of all, build a rapport with that person, um, gain their trust, and then engage in conversation about what's important to them. But then at the end, looking at criteria that, you know, um, to make sure that I've covered um, things like, I don't know, how, how, how they manage, if appropriate, I would ask, with personal care, or how they manage with domestic duties, or how they manage with their budgets. It's not always appropriate to ask these questions, and you need to gauge that, but um, asking these divulging and looking into these kind of questions is good to see how they can make their dreams real. Um, if, for example, somebody, I keep going to employment because I get that quite a lot, people want to go back into employment, um, I, I often find looking at budgeting and managing finance is a good, is a good kind of it's a good kind of topic to go into um, about how they manage that, how they manage their finances. I feel is is a good question because, for example, if somebody's receiving benefits and they go into employment, it's a completely different. We're going to have to look at finances completely differently. Um, so I get that. I get that quite a lot. But yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I focus more on employment, but other dreams. Um, for example, a, a gentleman who would like to go on holiday um, and. Financially, um, that, that isn't feasible in terms of eligibility criteria with the council. But um, I'm, I'm forced to look at other ways, imaginatively and creatively, to see how we can meet that dream. For example, okay, let's maybe look at budget. Um, if you want to go and, and we're not able, the council won't fund it. How can we? How can we get to that point? Of you funding it, maybe you know, budgeting that bit a week in order for you to have that holiday and having support to, to book the holiday and plan the holiday. Um, but how do we? How do we get to that point? Thank you very much. That was really good. Thank you.